Okay, so I'm here at the hangar today to make a quick video of the lighting systems I have in my KR2S. Uh, I've been asked to do that by a couple folks, and uh, so we'll hit the high points, talk about uh, a little bit about the wiring that I used, how I installed it, and uh, I'll give you uh, references in the video of where you can find this stuff. So let's go in the hangar and take a look. Okay, let's start with the uh, cockpit lighting. First of all, it's all controlled uh, from this switch here, uh, switch slash circuit breaker. I believe that's a five amp. And, uh, and then that feeds this dimmer. Uh, this is a pulse width modulated LED dimmer. I'll uh, talk about that in a little more detail. And that controls uh, this light strip in the back here goes all the way across the top. Um, you can see it. It's a little bit dark in here, but anyway, that. Uh, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and turn on some power here. You can see I can control that. Now this is actually. What you see there marked dimmer is part of the original unit. I took it apart and that is the, the uh, printed circuit board that came with it. So the wiring just comes through the panel and goes to that circuit board. So that's it for the cockpit lights. Uh, they can be a little extreme when they're turned all the way up. Okay, now for the landing lights. So these landing lights are actually, if you look on eBay, they're listed as motorcycle driving lights. These are the silver ones, they come in black. I made a custom mount for them, just an L bracket. And you have that huge magnifying lens on the front. They're about $9, eight or $9 each typically sold in pairs and when you turn them on they first come on bright I'll go ahead and show you okay if you turn it off and turn it right back on they come on dim and if you turn them off and turn them on again they'll strobe so you can see I've got, and typically even during the daytime, I'll fly it in the strobe mode. Okay, so this is the beacon system I put together, lower and upper, controlled by a wigwag flashing unit. Uh, these are actually, uh, I think they're 60 to 64 Volkswagen turn signal lens covers. Uh, I sell the custom base plates on my website, flightwidgets.com. And then those are Sylvania uh, LED, red LED bulbs. Now on the inside, 
you can see I had to cut out part of the turtle deck put a piece of wood up there and then there's just two screws you probably can't see that two screws that hold the socket in place here on the lower one you can probably see better Again, I'll uh, list all these parts. Here's the wigwag unit. The thing's, uh, I don't know, a little bit bigger than my thumb. It's pretty small. Pulls virtually no current at all. With the nav light on, without I'm not going to turn the strobes on. They would be too bright. So you can see there's left side. And the right side. And there's two bulbs for redundancy. In case one fails, the other... Matter of fact, this side, one of them is off. Don't know why, but <clears throat> that are is the nav lights. And again, I'll take a few minutes and give you some more details in the video. The rear is just a standard, I believe, 1156 bulb.